Hello, this is Annika Lidne from Le Web with the Le Web special together with Henry F. Weber from Denmark and we're going to focus on Swedish startups, Danish startups and the Nordic startup scene and first out we are here with Icelandic startup 23 minutes 2. Hang on. This is Sweden. You ain't packing gas, you ain't hard, you ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden. Fly overseas, clear, use a G, please believe. This ain't Sweden. Witness a massacre in Middle East to Africa. Bet you be thanking God. This is Sweden. Stop lying to all, you ain't struggling at all. This is Sweden. You ain't packing gas, you ain't hard, you ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden. Fly overseas, claim use a G, please believe the same Sweden. Witness a massacre in Middle East to Africa, it should be thanking God. This, this is the Swedish Startup Sessions. Hi, welcome back to the Swedish Startup Sessions, and we are here with 23 minutes 2, uh, which is actually the only Nordic startup in the startup competition at Le Web. And last year, we just announced this on stage that the winner, well, there were actually three winners uh, of the last year's startup mm. competition, but one of them got $55 million in funding. I guess it was Weiss. It was Weiss. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was. And they were pretty far far ahead when, when they came up here. But what is 23 minutes to? Short pitch. So. Maybe you want to talk about that? <laughs> yeah, 22 minutes is a new way that uh, groups can uh, get together in a really short time to do something fun uh, the same day or tonight or a really short, uh, short notice. Uh, it's a mobile app where you can just type your idea, invite your friends, and your friends get a message, a timer on it, and have to reply preferably between 23 minutes. And. Um I saw the presentation and I can see, see first I, when I saw your, your, your movie I thought, hmm, this is like, isn't there a lot of it, but then when I saw your pitch I got it, and we're coming back to that. But what's your background, your name and, and background? So I'm going to Rangersson, I'm from Iceland, and um, I've been in IT since graduating from the Hope School in Kvarta in Sweden. Oh, Sweden, uh, you're to yeah, really <laughs> background. <laughs> yeah. And um, uh, a couple of years ago I went for my MBA uh, at MIT in Boston, uh -huh. and where I got really uh, infected by the entrepreneurial uh, virus, and I've been studying companies since, uh, since leaving school, so this yeah. is my second startup. And, and you have a medical startup? Yeah, we have a medical device startup as well. Which is, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. And your yeah, I'm uh, Joost Vol, I'm from uh, Amsterdam, Netherlands. I'm uh, by education a psychologist, third mm -hmm. interaction designer, yeah. content designer. I run a small agency in Amsterdam and we help uh, big companies uh, improve their online conversion. Yeah. So we do what we call persuasion design, yeah. uh, irresistible uh, sales funnels. Yeah. Yeah. And what really got me with your presentation is that I only, if I want to do something with you guys, I only have like 20 minutes, 23 minutes for it to happen, for you guys to answer. And I can set up a lot of conditions, right? And I need, I won't, it won't happen unless Henry F. is coming with us. Or what I really thought was a killer app for me, who is a, a mum, <laughs> is that you could set the condition that unless the Babysitter is available. Yeah. It's all about this. You, we have these ideas ten times per day. We want to do something, but mm -hmm. we don't go ahead and actually ask people. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's it's socially difficult. You mm -hmm. might get a no, and if you get no for the tenth time, you don't feel like you want to get it. Mm -hmm. With 23 minutes, you just shoot it out there. If it catches on, great. If it doesn't, fine. I'll do something else later. But then the conditions help you specify the way you want to have it. Mm -hmm. And also, the 23 minutes is more than the idea. Of course, it could be 100 minutes or mm -hmm. something like that. But when you get a message from 23 minutes, you're urged. You you want to answer right away. Yeah. You just say no because nobody will be hurt even if you say no. Yeah. It's no social barriers. Yeah. And no pressure and it's not from what I got from your, your mm. video, what you said to the web, it's other people don't see that you have to exactly. it not. Yeah. Exactly. So this is a big barrier. Maybe you maybe you have these conditions but it's very difficult to tell somebody like yeah, you're not fun enough. Yeah. Uh, I want this other guy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So and this is all hidden. And I think if you start using it you will feel and understand the power of it more. So what we really want to be is like the starting point for every group that wants to do something yeah. and expect and ha fun Have you uh, your, used your background in psychology a lot when, when building the whole behavior model? Yeah, we, we, we did 
did we did research for this. To yeah. Look at what is the right time interval, of course, and uh, yeah, go into face mm -hmm. use all kinds of uh, psychological uh, tricks mm -hmm. like uh, scarcity. When, when you see a venue, you really see oh, there's only two or one one group left. Yeah. We really try to make people uh, click and push yeah. and, and use the system. And what's the business model of this? So we are a huge value for venues uh, because now venues don't only have to, uh, don't. It's not anymore the only way for a venue to get people in the door is to offer a discount. That's the way it works now. But now uh, a restaurant can uh, come up with an idea that, like, um, I'll provide a private waiter. If you want to ask your girlfriend out for dinner, I'll provide a, uh, provide a private waiter. Or and just play your favorite song at midnight. Exactly. It doesn't cost them anything. No. They, and they I would even pay more for that kind of yeah. stuff. You know, it's not about discounts. It's about having fun. It's about ideas and going out and meet people. Exactly. And the business model. And the business model. So when we bring these people through the venue, yeah. uh, to, uh, to the venue, we charge them a small amount. So for uh, about euro, two euros, yeah. uh, it's uh, set per market but, area. But if I, I want to go with you guys to mm. a venue that's not signed up with yep. you, fine. You just put it in there, and we yeah. go, and nobody knows anymore. We only charge the venues that that advertise right. in our suggestion. They oh, uh -huh. okay. You're not going to send them a yeah, bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So can I ask? Like, what is um, what is your objective of being here apart from winning the startup competition? Like, the objective. Well, it started. It's been a crazy two or three months. When we thought, let's let's shoot this idea into the web, we started working on the idea, like or implementing it two three months ago. Uh, two three months ago, and the objective is just to build pressure on ourselves to actually build it again. Mm. We really want to have this tool built. built. Mm. No matter what happens, we it's, it's usable. It's, it's going to be fun to use. You, Henry, you actually heard there were some 3,000, 3,500 3, company, 3,500 startups that applied. All right. So you won of the 16 that actually. Yeah, no, we're really, really proud of winner. Yeah, we're really winner. Yeah, we're really winner. Really really yeah, really so, and where do you think the rest of the Nordic startups are? I don't know. Is it? I've, I've been thinking about this a lot, and uh, at MIT we were thinking about why, why don't Europeans go out and start companies? Why is it always the Americans? I mean, there is absolutely no risk. Go out and start your idea. You've got a social system, you will be taken care of, no risk. My friends in America, they are starting their companies, and they have no health insurance, they don't have no salaries, and there's school children. Just don't, don't get comfortable on your couch, go out and start something and do something else. So in, in, in Iceland, uh is there an awareness that you should go to like the web or you should participate in seed camp or those international no, gatherings? No, no. no. I think basically my, my experience from America is that how important these kind of competitions yeah. can be and you know, that I think that's where I learned the importance of how difficult it is to go from idea to implementation. Yeah. This kind of uh, setting is the perfect place to do that. Mm. And, and, and really uh, us. have have you start, uh, started this previous year's presentation and pictures and so on when, before you applied or? Not before we applied, uh, but no. we, when preparing for this, we took a look at a few, but we knew we wanted to do it differently. Let's say. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're really happy we got the real yeah. life demo. That's yeah. 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 But is the service up and running yet? It's up and running for a small, small beta yeah, users, yeah. but we are op opening it up in mm. January, February timeframe, mm. and then mm. starting with the rolling of the venues and the suggestion engines mm. per market size. So, so Scandinavia is definitely high on the list because mm. you guys are all this market. Yeah. And you speak Swedish. I speak Swedish. <laughs> <You speak Swedish. laughs> so, <laughs> can I just, one last thing? Yeah. So if you were going to give some advice to the Scandinavian or Swedish or yeah. English startups, on doing pictures, like what is the things that you thought worked really well in there because you just came out of there like five minutes ago? Yeah, uh, I think you any idea that you get is it always misses a business model. I mean, no matter you will get all these cool ideas, but turning it into how we're going to make money mm. is really difficult, and that's what we have the most challenge with today yeah. to convince like how where's the money? What's mm. the market size? And mm -hmm. Of course, we can create create Excel sheets that make us millionaires in a couple of months, but mm -hmm. that's not what it's about. But it's never losing focus when you're building your idea. Where, where are we going to get the money? How is this going to be sustainable? And that, that's the challenge. Yes. Don't forget that because you don't do another photo sharing app. No, don't do another photo sharing app. Yeah. <laughs> I'll yeah. just another one. Stop, stop focusing on technology and do some real value for your yeah. Thank you so much. And a huge, uh, I hope that you come up there on Friday. Is on Friday. Friday. We're going to be sitting there with, with uh, for the last fi the finalist of the starting competition and uh, good luck with, with the 23 minutes too. Thank you very much.